The success of the Brown Bears is going to start with uh, developing the culture. Um, it's, it's been a program that has a very good history. We're going into our 11th year um, and, and they've had a lot of success there in the past with moving guys on and whatnot, but we just have to redefine the culture and, and kind of our thing is re redefine the culture while keeping the tradition. They have a lot of great tradition up there that they go through. The community is awesome. Um, and so we just have to build it through every day, uh, making practice and, and workouts and stuff fun, but also very competitive. And then, uh, you know, just continue to develop the community support that we have. I was a goalie, by, so by trade, I looked to start from the net out. And, uh, you know, so that's a big thing. We have Colt Hanks coming back um, and two other guys coming in to compete with them. And then we got to find leadership. Being new to the group with uh, about 10 guys that can, can come back, we want to figure out who's going to be our leaders and are they going to be returners or are they going to be new guys and, and kind of go from there and just continue to build the culture. Our goals for this year are, are first and foremost player advancement. Um, we need to get our NCAA commitment numbers up. Um, it's been kind of a thing for the last couple of years and I think, you know, obviously we want to make the playoffs. Um, we're, we're realistic in that sense that it's, you know, we're coming off of a 12-1 season and we want to build off of that and, and make the playoffs. Um, and I think they'll go hand in hand. If you have success on the ice, you're going to have success moving guys on. And if you have success moving guys on, you're going to have success on the ice. Through training camp, we're going to really learn about our group. I mean, our, our leading returning scorer, Luke Ratatick, we expect him to be um, a go-to guy for us this year. Um, our first pick in the draft, Nick Greibenel, uh, is a Dallas Stars AAA kid that we're excited to have, and he's really excited to get up to Kenai. So, I mean, we want to have a team mentality first. So, I mean, we're not looking to have any all-stars or anything like that, but like we, you know, we'll find out through training camp to find out who really is going to be the guys to go to. We want to give the fans and, and the community um, a return basically on their investment that they made into the Brown Bears in such a short span. I think it's our greatest asset we have. Um, I tell people all this all the time, going up there as an opponent, um, I love the community and so now being a Brown Bear I'm even more excited to be a part of it. And so it's, it's our greatest asset but then it, it is added pressure, you know. You have, to, you have to live up and deliver but I think I think our guys are excited about it, um, and I know the community is, so hopefully we see you know, some bigger crowds. We're really excited about what the season brings, and I, I truly feel like we have the best community, in, you know, one of the best communities in junior hockey.